in times of change, the learners will inherit the earth. While the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. For a moment, consider the things your mind has brought you. Everything you have, your work, your relationship with your family and others, your philosophy of life, all come to you as a result of using your mind. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve, regardless of how many times you may have failed in the past or how lofty your aims and hopes may be. The more you study you, you're going to find your belief system is based upon your evaluation of something. The more you evaluate you, the more you're going to believe in you. Bill Gove was like the Frank Sinatra of public speaking. He is who mentored and taught Bob Proctor how to speak. And he quoted Bill Gove saying, if I want to be free, I got to be me. Not the me I think you think I should be. Not the me I think my wife thinks I should be. Not the me I think my kids think I should be. If I want to be free, I got to be me. And I better know who me is. And it was like a bucket of ice got thrown on my head. And I was just like, whoa. Am I really doing what I really want to do with my life? And then he kept saying, what do you want? What do you really want? And I wrote down in teeny tiny prints so nobody would see. And I said, I want to be in the inner circle of this company. And I want to be his closest advisor. What we've got to learn to do as individuals is adapt to the change that's taking place. See, change is inevitable. It's never going to stop. And we're picking up speed. Thinking is when you take a power that's flowing into your consciousness, that flows to and through you, and you originate thoughts. And you put the thoughts together and you create an idea. And if you can create an idea, if you can see something in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. And I don't care whether you're 80 or 18, it makes no difference. The illiterate of the 21st century are not going to be the people who cannot read and write. They're going to be the people who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Now think about that for a moment. Do you know, you and I are being controlled, virtually controlled by paradigms. I see a paradigm as being a mental program that has almost exclusive control over our habitual behavior. And I want you to think of this, almost all of our behavior is habitual. There's such phenomenal opportunity for the person who really understands themselves, who understands how their paradigm was formed and how that paradigm can be changed. And without that knowledge, the opportunity is just gonna go right past them. A friend invited me to a leadership seminar and I didn't even ask anything about it. I didn't know the details. It was in Vancouver, Washington. I said, sure, I'll go. And so I ended up there on that Friday night, August 18th, 2006, and I'll never forget it. I can see where I was sitting in the seminar room. I can see what I was wearing, and I, I see out walks on stage Bob Proctor. And I didn't even know who he was. I kind of had connected between Bob Proctor and The Secret, but I didn't know this was a Bob Proctor seminar. And within like 15 minutes, it was like he took my head off and shook it all around and everything that I believed and thought I was starting to question. There was one point in the seminar when he said most people tiptoe through life, hoping to make it safely to death. I believe if we're really going to enjoy the change that's taking place, in the world that we're a part of, we're gonna to have to start to understand what makes us tick. We're gonna to have to understand how the paradigm was formed, how the paradigm can be changed, and how it's literally controlling our life. When we do understand that, then we're in control of ourselves. We're living the way we really want to live. We've knocked down all the walls. There's no limitations. Sky is actually the limit. Check us out at ProctorGallagherInstitute.com. 
for tips, tools, and resources.